In this video, we will use the Codices MQTT library to send process values from a Codices runtime to ThingsBoard. The Codices MQTT library is available free of charge and under open source license, which is also suitable to use it in industrial applications. In this example, we will use a Raspberry Pi with Codices runtime. We will use ThingsBoard Cloud to upload values. It does not necessarily have to be ThingsBoard Cloud. It can be any ThingsBoard installation, even ThingsBoard Community Edition. The specification about the payload and the topic can be found at the ThingsBoard website under the MQTT API. I will add all links in the video description. First, we have to create a ThingsBoard device. Add the important information we need is the access token, which we get by this copy button. But we will use that later. Let's begin with the codices part. First, we create a new project. We choose Codices Control for Raspberry Pi, uh, multi-core, and let's create the device. Then we will have to import the MQTT library from the repository. So we go to library manager and add library. Let's search for MQTT. And add the MQTT client library. Since the payload has to be in JSON format, we have some helper functions to create the JSON string, which is fc add key value to JSON and fc create JSON. The main function block is FB MQTT client. Now let's begin with the main application. First, we have to declare our MQTT function block. Let's call it MQTT. The namespace is MQTT client and the function block is FB MQTT client. Let's call our function block. Uh, you will see there are a lot of in and outputs. But in this example, we will only use the necessary ones. Uh, first of all, the broker address. As broker address, which is a string. 
and that's Thinksport Cloud. Next, we will have to assign the, um, the topic to publish to. That's is pro uh, is topic publish. That's also a string, which is v1 devices me telemetry as mentioned before you will find all important information in the thingsport documentation so here you see the the topic then we need the username i s username that's also a string and the username is the access token copy access token and insert the access token then we need the payload and as mentioned before the payload to upload values to a thingsport device has to be in json format so we have some helper functions in the library which is mqtt client fc add key value to json the um, function has two inputs one is the key and one is the value so let's uh, create a short example which we say the key is temperature and the value is let's say 33.5 let's add another value for example, humidity, let's say 51.3. And we will create the JSON and assign it to the IS payload input. So namespaces MQTT client dot fc create json and we need the input of the main function block publish and in order to publish values in a regular base we have another helper function which is there which is actually a function block which is there to create the timing flag we have to declare our function block let's call it clock 
one hertz, which is type MQTT client FB timing flag. Let's call our function block and the input I T time base is one second. So we will upload values every second and assign the output of our timing flag to ix publish. Okay, that should be our application. And let's download it to our Raspberry Pi. Scan network. Scan network. Here's our Raspberry Pi. Okay. Let's sign in. Okay. Download the application. And start. Let's check the function block if we have a connection to a Thingsport cloud. That actually looks good. And let's uh, check Thingsport Cloud, latest telemetry. And you see every second new values coming in. And uh, these are our values we are sending from Codices to Thingsport Cloud. Of course, in a real life application, the values wouldn't be static. That would be a value from a machine control or from a field bus device. Typically, the value wouldn't be a string, which uh, you see the function fc add key value to JSON takes two strings. One is the key and one is the value, but any value can easily be converted to a string by, let's say, real to string 25.5. And let's download that. And once again, look into Thingsport Cloud. Thingsport, latest telemetry. And uh, you see the value had temp for temperature has changed. And still we are sending every values every second.